So Dave is on try number two here for the range extender. And so far, the range extender is working great. This time, we don't have any battery shutoffs, not shutting his bike down. So he's a pretty happy camper. Now he's starting to think that $600 might be worth it. I'd rather have another GoPro camera myself. But the plan is, he's gonna use it for a while and then unplug it when it's half empty. And then we'll just keep going. And then if we get too far out, I can use it to charge my bike. But I never needed it. But I don't use boost very often. And boost is what really drains your battery. But it's also what gets you up some of these crazy technical things. Like this, like this turn. Oh. <laughs> Dave is using an app called ST Unlocker. And this app will tell him his exact battery level, which I am also seeing on my Garmin 530. Dave here with Travels Active. It's about time I did an update on the Orbea Rise H Series range extender review. And now I have probably 150 miles with this range extender and I love it. I had initially had some problems. I think that's all attributed to user error. It's critical that these are pushed in all of the way and locked in place. I don't think I did that the first time. That's why I was having intermittent shutoffs. I, it's been flawed. It's a seamless integration with the main battery in that it draws off the range extender first. When that's used up, it automatically switches to your main battery. It's a, it's an excellent device. It gives you a lot of extra security when you're taking off on long rides or just unknown rides. We were up in the on the coast and going with somebody else who was taking us on a ride that involved 1500 feet of climbing right in the beginning and had i not had the range extender i would have definitely been concerned that i was burning up a lot of battery because we needed boost the entire time so anyway i love the range extender and that is my update one more thing i just want to add to dave's great review is that as far as the range extender battery being worth it the 600 bucks for me, it wouldn't be. At 125 pounds, I usually only go through about half of my battery. So for me, it's not worth it. For him, with that extra 60 pounds of lean muscle mass, um, it is worth it. And that keeps our batteries of both bikes more in line so that they're about the same at the end of the ride. So for him, it's worth it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like if you like this video. We'll see you on the next one.